you are officially like you you the comeback king you come back every single time like anytime you know life knocks you down you right back at you got to tell us the secret to being able to just come back every single time yeah just keep going you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of artists like when they get discouraged and stuff they just stop and i feel like you know i just kept going like start staying in the studio all the time just working you feel me and um you know just gotta stay down until you come up stay consistent you feel me yeah yeah and, yeah i feel like i i feel like um you know i made it work just staying down and they you know you, de you definitely been staying consistent and um i've been loving all of the new campaigns that's been going on uh this whole soldier started it first Oh, I've been seeing so many like Instagram pages, Twitter pages, but the soldiers started at first. You can scroll down any comment on on any type of page, and somebody will say Soldier Boy did it first. <laughs> How you feel yeah. about like the, the reaction and all the love that you've been getting? You know, as far as being, you know, really the pioneer of this whole the viral social media craze that's been happening over the past few years. No, nah, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the fans. Um, for supporting your boy, you know what I'm saying, with the memes and stuff like that. Like, you know, we always gonna have fun and, um, you know, make have a good time. But, you know, behind the whole thing is serious though. Like, I was the first rapper on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like you know, we just have fun with it though. But nah, it feel good though, man. Shout out to all my fans, man. Shout out to everybody out there. Yeah. Keeping keep going. Now you definitely I I mean I remember I remember like when you when you came when you came out it was different it was like you broke the the regular norm for like artists you know coming out and going the traditional route you know what I mean breaking it on radio first or um breaking it you know with the DJs you went straight with with the internet you was like you was on YouTube with it so now that there's so many artists that are following your your remedies, um, how do you feel like social media has changed from then and now as far as like a new artist being able to branch out and, 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 and become an emerging artist during this time in 2021? Man, I made it possible for artists to just get signed off the internet. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is go on YouTube, upload a video. If you hide in your city, if you got the streets rocking with you, you get enough views, you're gonna catch the attention of the label and get a deal. You know what I'm saying? I started it. I had signed to Jimmy Iveen, Interscope Records, and I was 16 over a million dollars just off the dancing and going viral. You know what I'm saying? So I started the new hip hop. I started what's the norm uh, to get a deal. You ain't gotta walk and pass out your CD. You ain't gotta fly to New York, get no deal. You can just go viral from your house. I was the first artist to do that. Everything that I did when I first came out is the normal now in the rap game. Yes. Yeah, and no, I agree 100%. Now, being though that you, you know, like I said, you're the pioneer of, you know, the whole, you know, artists and social media. Um, when you going to come out with your own app? I always wonder when were you going to come out, like, with your own social media app. And this is before, like, Instagram. I always thought that you would just come out with your own app. You know what I mean? Because it's like you had the formula down pack, especially a, a own your own app for artists. You know, is that something that you ever thought about doing? Yeah, I got an app. Y'all can go download it right now. Soldier Boy app on on the iPhone. And I just came out with a video game console. Y'all go follow at Soldier Boy Game on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I'm the first rapper with his own video game console. He ain't never yeah. been done before in history. Well, you, you got your own console? Yeah, I got my own video game console. We in all Amazon stores right now. Nice. Um, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo trying to buy my company. Google trying to buy my company. I've been in the talks with them for the last couple of weeks. We highly evaluated millions, 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 big millions right now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know if I'm a seller or not. I'm still thinking about it, but y'all go check it out, man. At Soldier Boy Game on Instagram. Go order you one today. Yeah, for sure. Facts, definitely. I know I'm going to get me one as soon as we get off this uh, interview. Now, I, that's now I'm going to send you one. Give me the address. Wants, I'm going to send you one. Don't play with me. You want to send me one? Because my, my son loves video games. I'm going to let him. Yeah, you got, it got Fortnite. Netflix, oh, okay. Oh, oh, Apple wait, so you Music, Spotify, <laughs> the box. No, that's that's facts. Now that that was that was something else that I wanted to touch on too, right? 
because there are a lot of artists who unfortunately, you know, you know, went broke or they couldn't stay afloat. You had your hands in so many different things. And more, most importantly, you had your hands in technology. Do you think, you know, when, when music or was music, was there ever a point where music kind of slowed down for you and everything that you were doing on the technology side was able to keep you afloat financially? Hell no. I've been, <laughs> I've been, rich, I've been rich off music since legit like i made three million dollars when i was like 16 17 and i made like seven million dollars after that then i made like five million after that like i ain't never had no problem with no money you know yeah. what i'm saying if anything um you know just the other stuff was fun video games brought money clothing line brought millions uh the record signing artists like a lot of a lot of stuff brought money so it wasn't never about no money it's just yeah. like a passion i wanted to come out with a video game I wanted to have my own record label. I wanted to have my own weed strand. It was a certain stuff I wanted to do. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 I know. Yeah, I know. I know. You never had problems with money. I was just wondering, was there like one thing that kind of held it down while the other was kind of like was was? Nah, was, it wasn't none of everything that. Everything like, was all leveled out. Yeah, like when okay. I came in, when I came, like okay, when I signed as Jimmy Iovine at sixteen, I, he gave me a million, like one point five. Like, 1.8 million. So boom, that's 16. Then when I turned 17, I had made like two, three million just off the sales of my album. Cause like Crank That, I produced Crank That. It sold 10 million copies and I wrote the song. So 100% of all the money went to me. So like, I don't know, people probably just don't know how much money I really got, but I got bread, but I ain't yeah. what the, like what? <laughs> No, I know, especially, look, people in the industry know, because, you know, and for the people that's out there watching this right now, when you write your own music and you create, and you produce it, like, like you said, so to like 100% of that is yours. You know what I mean? That's that, that's that, that always blew my mind. And that's why, you know, when, like when Crank Day came out and, and when that when your first album came out, I looked at it differently. And I was young, look, you know, listening to your listening to your music too, but I looked at it like, damn, he killing it. Like he wrote this song and he producing the records. Like I produced my whole first album. Yeah, top like, bottom. You can't like that's crazy. And it like, went platinum. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, but we just getting started though, man. She make a clap is out right now, man. We on Billboard. Yeah. Um, we went number one on TikTok in the world. We went number one on Billboard, Triller Charts, Independent, with no label. Mm -hmm. And then I just signed with, I just signed with Virgin last uh, a couple weeks ago. I got my album coming. I got T.I. on there. I've been in the studio with Justin Bieber, mm. uh, NLE Chopper, Chief Keith, uh, me and Kodak Black been on the phone uh, working it out. So this, this album going to be crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, me and Diddy been in the studio working. Um, I'm dropping my album July 28th, Big Drake on the album. Mm. Um, did she make a clap remix on the way? Oh, wait, uh -huh. whoa, a remix? Who on the remix? You can't tell I me? I can't say, I can't oh. say, but it's gonna be huge. It's, it's gonna, gonna be huge, for sure. Yeah. It's gonna be huge, so a remix it's, on the way, yeah. album on the way. Big shout out to T.I., man. Really been in the studio. I just been in the studio every day, for, like, cooking up. I was in the studio last night to, like, to the sun come come up like that's like my normal routine like i just love cooking up new music you feel me so mm -hmm. definitely um diamond cuts i'm gonna um, <laughs> send you some tracks and you check it out you know what oh I'm man I, I would love that and i'm not gonna leak it neither so you can send me the exclusive you know what i mean she make it clap remix you know what i'm saying now, <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying now, now speaking about version because i wanted to ask you about that uh, uh artist of your stature like somebody that's been doing it for a long time you know the ins and outs of the business um especially with so many artists being anti-label right now what made you want to sign with virgin records Man, I love Virgin Records, man. Shout out to Virgin, <laughs> shout out to Virgin Music. Nah, I've been independent the last ten years. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, I want a deal. Like, what? I'm straight. Like, the independent is cool, but it's just like you gotta spend a lot of your own money, bro. And it's like I spent a hundred thousand for the video, three hundred thousand for promotion, marketing, all this. I went number one with not one marketing dollar. Mm. This artist, this on major labels, this. Not seeing the success that I'm seeing, all I did was hit an upload button, iTunes, you know what I'm saying? That joint went. They getting $50,000 marketing budgets and ain't seeing half of the success. That I'm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, 
if I sign to a label and just take this extra bag, I'm a, they gonna put me, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm this one, I'm I'm already doing this by myself. Imagine what I'm gonna do with a label behind me, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. And even like I got no crazy deal. Like I had I had like seven labels trying to sign me. And um one label was trying to take my publishing, my my merch, my ticket in, like give me a crazy split. It was crazy. So like the, the deal Virgin gave me is like I own my masters. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I own my masters. I got a very, very great majority split, which they don't do at labels. They probably give you like 20, 30% of the record. I own all the record. Like, it's like a partnership. You know what I'm saying? I got my own label. Like, bro, I couldn't, I, I gave me a big bag. You feel me? I got creative control. I could drop when I want to drop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the best deal. It's the best deal I could have took. And I was going to, I was going to ask you that too, because um, that people get confused about their like owning your own masters and, and the publishing and all of that. So, so you kind of answered everything right there. So that's that's awesome. Like, and you got the label. I know you had a label, you know, years ago. Um, then you got a label like under version. Yeah. So, uh, what what artists you got coming out? What, what artists is you know on the on the roster for the label? I just signed a new artist, Flo Malcolm. Y'all mm -hmm. can go follow him at Flo Malcolm 59 on Twitter, Instagram, all that. He out of Atlanta right now going up. And um, I'm looking for a female artist right now. Like, Okay. Female rapper, singer? Yeah, female rapper. I'm trying to. Oh, like, they about to blow you up right now. <laughs> I'm trying to sign up. a girl for 2021. Okay. Nice. Now, speaking of female rappers, you know, Nikki just dropped her, uh, well, re released the Beat Me Up Scotty mixtape. One of my favorite freestyles on there, she knows it, everybody in Philly knows it, was um, the itty bitty, um, the itty bitty piggy freestyle, you know what I mean, with over your beat, off the, um, the dunk beat. So, is a video going? I know you said something on Twitter about wanting to do a video. Is a video going to come from it? And I think she's going to she make it clap remix, but I'm gonna leave it, you know, to myself. But um, is it y'all going to do a video for it or anything or anything? Um, yeah, I don't, you guys <laughs> just gotta y'all just gotta wait and stay tuned. You know what I'm saying mm. I tweeted I tweeted that and told her she should shoot a video. So you know we'll see what happens. Yeah, but yeah, well, man, shout out to Nikki. That's the queen, you know what I'm saying? I've been rocking with Nikki since she, since she first got into the industry, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. We, go, we go way back, like, <laughs> like real, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I really, that's why I really rock with Nikki, because, like, she real, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen her from, like, the start to where she at right now, so it was, like, a beautiful thing, like, you know what I'm saying? I already was with Sign. I already was on. I was, like, on my second album when I met Nikki. And she she didn't have no record out of nothing, you know what I'm saying? So for the seat from where she first started to like right now, it's like unbelievable, you know what I'm saying? That's like the real life queen for sure. Yeah, watching the growth for sure. Hell yeah. I, I always say it about Nikki, like, especially me being around her for so many years, like she is a machine. Like the way she works, the way she does things. Like, I, I made, made Nicki Minaj Twitter. I made <laughs> Nicki Minaj Twitter for her. Y'all should be thanking me. If it weren't for me, Nicki Minaj wouldn't have no Twitter. Oh, this for real, real? That's facts. Damn. What? I, I, don't, I don't say nothing in cap. Look, this is what happened. <laughs> so, so, like, I'm on tour or something one day, mm -hmm. and, like, I get a tweet, and it's, like, uh, Nicki Minaj something, and it was, like, soldier something, something, something. Like, she was saying something to me, and then I call her, and I'm, like, Nicki, this you on Twitter tweeting me right now? And she was, like, no, I don't, I don't got Twitter. What's that? Da -da -da. And I was like, oh, this must be a fake page. I'm like, I'm gonna make your page for you right now. And I'm uh, I'm gonna see the info. And she was like, all right, so woo. So if you go and look on Nikki Twitter, I'm the first person she followed. Because wow. I I really made her Twitter for her, like no cap. Dang, I, I didn't know that. Damn. Soldier did, yeah, Soldier bro. did something else first. Damn. So we need to be thanking you for all the Nikki tweets. Hey, what? Know? They need to thank you, Nikki one. She would have probably been on Twitter, but it would have been later. Like I got her on there when Twitter wasn't popping type stuff. Like, yeah. Look how many followers she got now. Yeah, you put her on the wave. You feel damn. me? Damn, damn. Now, now, speaking of waves, you know what I'm saying? You know, you and and, and Bow Wow had a crazy, Bow wow. crazy, crazy way. Come on, we got to get into it, soldier. We got to get into Bow it. Bow Wow. <laughs> it's the verses. You talking about the dude that, that was on happened. the plane acting like it was a private jet, but he was flying commercial? <laughs> yeah, we talking Bow about that. Bow Wow, sad, <laughs> man. Little Pee Wee. Man, stop playing with me. When we get on this versus stage, I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. 
<laughs> I'm it? the one that gave him Marco Polo. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Is it she, on the wrong, she on the phone talking about Bow Wow. <laughs> so just shut up. Is it going to happen though? Is yeah, it going to Okay. Yeah, it's going to happen. She make it clap, clap. Yes. It's going to happen this month, man. Bow Wow, stop playing, man. Man, I, well, I can't wait. I can't wait. Cause Chad Moss. I mean, outside of Bow Wow, who else you think you could go up against on the verses? Outside <laughs> of Bow Wow. Right, nobody Anybody? can't see me on no verses. I'm only doing this for fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm only doing this because they had the Romeo thing, and they said the people just kept saying Soldier Boy. So I'm doing this, man. Can't nobody see me, bro. I'm one of a one. Ain't no other artist like me. It'll never be another artist like me, bro. Period. Listen, that's a, it's the best lineup. I'm telling you because like y'all, y'all had to wave. Y'all got you got the wave now. Y'all had to wave, wave. Like you know what I mean? Like bow wow. So so their verses is gonna be crazy. I can't wait. I'm excited. I still and you know it's crazy. So I still play all the the songs from your first album. I still play that on the radio today. Like the wave that you had when you came out, it was unheard of. Like it was it was just. Phenomenal, so I can't wait for this album to come out. You gotta, you, the album's called Big Draco, right? Big Draco, the album, July 28th. July 28th is gonna be here. How many tracks you giving us on this, um, on this album? I don't know yet. <laughs> well, how, you know what, what I want to ask you, what I want to ask you, because I know it's a lot of artists that when they record, they record like 20 or 30 songs a day. Is that, are you that type of artist? You going to just, just 20, 30 songs? At a time, Hell nah, that's too many. But I, <laughs> I probably go in the studio and like do like two or three a, a night, okay. and then just go and pick from them over the over the week and stuff like that, and narrow it down to the best tracks and stuff like that. All right, I appreciate you. You know, I always I'm gonna always support you. You don't you didn't know that, but you know now I'm gonna always support you. I'm proud of you. Keep coming back. You know what I'm saying? Keeping the, your foot on their necks. You know, it's, it's up. It's up. Nah, for sure. I appreciate the love, man. All you know, right. I've been, been rocking with you since, since the start, Diamond Cook, man. It's all love. All love. All love. Love you, soldier. Thank you again. And uh, I'll be on the lookout for it. And I can't wait for your album. All right, for sure. All right. Thanks, soldier.